Hi everyone, my name is Julia. I'm one of the creators of Kapwing, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use our latest tool, which is called the Stop Motion Video Maker. Um, so we got the idea for this tool after seeing lots of cool stop motion videos on Instagram and realizing how long they took to make and what a pain stop motion was to make from a series of photos. So we wanted to make it really easy to make stop motion videos from videos or existing videos, maybe things you filmed on your GoPro or on a different device, um, but you wanna turn them into cool short brand content or cool short uh, stuff for your Instagram or WhatsApp. Um, so you start by going to uh, kapwing.com slash stop motion. Um, or you can just go to Kapwing and open the stop motion tool right here. And then you can see there's two ways to upload, just like all of our Kapwing features. You can either upload directly from your device or you can um, paste a link if the video is already online. Um, so the video I'm gonna show you is one that I have here in test videos. Let me find it quickly. It's called the rafting video. I'm gonna use this one. Um, now there is a 25 megabyte limit on the videos that you can upload here. So if your video is too big, you can always just use a um, different website to compress the video before you upload it to complain. Um, I actually did that with this video. Um, so you can see here the video is playing with this cool like stop motion effect applied to it in the editor. Um, and you have a couple of different um, uh, options that are available to you down the side right here. So you can see um, that you can uh, choose the speed, which is the um, length of time that each one of your frames lasts in the stop motion um, sequence. So, you know, stop motion is just like a sequence of frames, like a series of photos, and um, each frame lasts for a certain amount of time. So you can have it go at medium speed, which is playing right here, or you can um, have it go faster. You can see how it's like basically like flying through because each frame only lasts for a much smaller amount of time. Um, or you can have it go slower where the effect looks like choppier, but more there's more stop than motion basically. <laughs> um, you can also choose your clip rate, which lets you um, choose how often we take a frame from the uh, or you want to take a frame from your original video to show it in your stop motion. So if you have the effect be, um, uh, you know, for example, the maximum, which is every 1.5 seconds, you can see that there's a lot of breaks in the movement because you're only taking um, a, a single frame to represent a whole second and a half. Whereas if you do every 0.2 seconds, you can see, I'm gonna switch it back to medium here too, you can see that um, the uh, motion looks a lot more smooth or seamless because you're taking frames at much um, more regular intervals. Um, so let's see. Another thing you can do is trim your video. So like this is a like longish video. It's like 50 seconds long. But you can see here at the beginning, like the action doesn't really get started until um, some time in. So I'm going to move it to when the action gets started, which I think is sometime around like 20 seconds. Let's go look. And you can see I'm just dragging here to um, dragging the start time. Okay, so there's some action. So I'm gonna start it around seven or like 16 seconds. Actually, maybe 17 seconds. And you can also use the, you can click on each one of these and use the arrow keys to make really fine adjustments too. That is, and then do I need to make any adjustment at the end? Probably okay. That is done trimming. So now I'm only taking the um, stop motion of kind of the bulk of the action of them getting like basically whiplashed across the lake, which is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> you can also add a custom watermark. Let's see here. Um, maybe I'll go in and add the complete watermark. I've already uploaded it, but you can, I can just upload it again. Here's the complete logo. Great, and just click done. Okay, so there you can see, um, I've chosen the medium speed. Maybe I'll make it a little bit more seamless, like 0.6 or so. You can also play things back in reverse if you wanna like watch it. Like basically you like play the action forward and then you can like play it backwards again in your video. But um, yeah, you should play around with this effect. It's really cool, but I'm not gonna choose it for this one. Um, and then I go ahead and create my video um, and it will process the video for you and um, uh, you just wait for it to load here. You can see all the loading um, 
percentages as it goes. Um, now, I've already actually processed this video, so I'll show it to you made. When your video is ready, it'll look like this. Um, and you can just download it and then uh, text it to yourself or email it to yourself and share it directly to Instagram or um, any other platform that you want. Um, you can also uh, come back to this link later if you want to. You can refresh this page. All of this is done in the cloud, so it's not taking up any of your local storage um, on your computer. Um, so yeah, that's how you use the stop motion uh, video maker. Um, hope you guys can use it to make some awesome stop motion action frames and other things for us to enjoy. Thanks so much for using Kapwing. Bye.